Today, we got an update on Dragon Ball Spark and Zero where they talk about different things that's gonna happen in the game. So we about to go ahead and look into that and break everything down, man. But before we go ahead and hop into all that, my guy, listen, bro. You still got five seconds to choose your option, all right? If you still hype about Spark and Zero, I want you to go right, hit the like button, and turn on your notification bell. But if you are not hype, my guy, I want you to go left at the dislike button because you're just so lame, bro. Let's be serious. But again, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all so much for supporting the feedback. Let's go get to this video, y'all. All right, y'all. So look, man. First thing first, man. Please make sure I watch this full video begin to the end so I do not miss a single detail. We got a lot of different stuff to talk about in today's video, man. I'm super excited about this, man. Um... Let's go ahead and hop into it before I start role playing. All right. Now, first thing first, man, uh, we did get the translation for the scans and everything for the recent V-Jump scans of Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. And they actually did say a lot of stuff. And I feel like a lot of people are really not talking about this. So I want to kind of go over it. But the first, this is some of the highlights of the scans and stuff like that. They mentioned Kui. Um, I don't know why people get excited over Kui, bro. So I guess this is another character that's going to be in the game, bro. They mentioned him right here, bro. Um, that means, I don't know. I really hope henchmen really don't make it to this game. I'm so sorry. Bro, I just feel like it's very delusional. If you got UI Goku, you got Vegeta, you got Gohan, you got Piccolo, you skipped all the way, you, you skipped all the cool characters and pick on a henchman. Delusional. Just very sad in my opinion. But Kui was mentioned in this right here. So that's like another character I'm guessing that we can expect in the game. It's his skills and energy rates. This is where I would this is where I got like excited for. It says Vegeta specializes in long range blasts. All right. Now I know you like bro, why are you excited about that? All right. Now it looks like they might be different types of like characters because in Tinkaichi 3 and all the Tinkaichi games, bro, a lot of they all play the same basically. Let's just be serious. Like somebody might hit faster than somebody or something like that, but the way they worded it here, it looks like every character going to have that type of unique thing to them you know what i'm saying they say if he specialized in like long range blast if he is he like a zoner or something like that because i think in one of the trailers y'all remember he was like blasting crazy and stuff like that like keeping them away so that would be pretty fire if that's like the case of each and every character if you keep going down um it says adjust your strategy based on transformations this is i oh my god this is absolutely good bro this is absolutely good bro because i really like that they do this bro like i love when you transform your fighting style change bro a lot of games don't do that no more bro a lot of these games don't do that bro everything still stay the same and it says goku is great a melee and rush down all right now what i love about this bro i'm glad that what are right, what, what i'm hoping what i'm super super hoping i haven't read the scan so they might say this but i'm hoping that when if i'm in base form i have a certain fighting style and when i go super saiyan my combos change when i go super saiyan 2 my combos change when i go super saiyan 3 my combo change all right I hope I fight different. I hope I just hope that these don't give me new moves. I hope that the combos actually change. That's one thing I hope that Xenoverse did when it came out, bro. Because when you go Super Saiyan, yeah, you do more damage. But I was hoping that the fighting style would change. You know what I'm saying? So the way they put adjust your strategy based on transformations, I'm hoping that you know your fighting style would change when you do that, or you might fight different from base form to Kaioken to Super Saiyan. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and look at some of these scans real quick, bro. Um, I have them right here, my fault. Let's go ahead and look at some of these scans real quick. Now it says that um, Scouter Z, Vegeta, give pressure to your opponents with the repeated energy blast or transform into a great ape and trample them. Additionally, you can use the skill that sent Planet Namek Kui to his grave. All right. I guess that's when they announced Kui right there, bro. Uh, Majin Vegeta, it says throughout the skills, the energy store rate will raise. Okay. Um, keep blasting out strong attacks one after another without worrying about your energy. So when you all right, so it says throughout the skills, your energy store rate will raise. All right, keep blasting out of attacks after another without worrying about your energy. So do your meter not go down when you go transformation mode or something? I don't know. I, I mean, I might be reading that wrong. Normally you have key blast in Super Saiyan form. Your fighting is your specialty. Okay, this is what I said earlier. Okay, you can also set off the um, superior level impact super move bit bang attack. All right, please let my fighting style change when I go Super Saiyan, bro. That is so fire, bro. I might like Super Saiyan 1 fighting style better than Super Saiyan 3. I might like Super Saiyan 3 fighting style better than UI. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... I'm really hoping they really, really, really put that in there and just not change the moves, bro. I really hope that fighting style change when you go Super Saiyan. That is so fire to me, bro. 
pressure your enemy by mixing a strategy of both energy attacks and super attacks okay um as an answer to your enemy you can choose the formation which is um better for your strategy okay i am super vegeta roleplay fans will also be surprised by this appearance uh, I don't know why I would be surprised about Super Vegeta, but it's just, okay, he's in almost every Dragon Ball game besides Kakarot. Well, he was in Kakarot, but they role-played and didn't give us some. Increase, uh, increase in muscle size, a power-building transformation in addition to a famous lines recreate the thing. All right, so this would be um developed um, to sale to... to, dev to I can't read, bro. Y'all know what it says right there. All right, now, um this Super Vegeta would be so fire in this game when you go to him. And you're like you turn super slow but you do mad damage that would be fire i really hope that's like a perk of super vegeta i hope they make him super super slow but his benefit is if he hits you you do a lot of damage you know what i'm saying bro so i'm really hoping that transformations have unique to them i just don't want i don't want super saiyan 1 to feel like super saiyan 3. I don't want Super Saiyan 3 to feel like it's UI. You know what I'm saying? I hope every transformation have a unique thing to them. That's how it should be, bro. So like Super Vegeta, I really hope you really fight slow and everything like that, but you do a lot of damage. And they said um, bilking, so they know that the transformation is bigger. Um, this is Great Ape. The Great Ape form where Saiyans display their own true potential, overwhelm the opponent through a form that makes the enemy feel helpless and destroy them with super fire power. All right crush the insects all right that's pretty cool bro um there's something special down here i want to kind of go over but let's go ahead and look at goku's real quick now this one this is goku's it says on um, rival edition eternal goku vagina uh they not crazy no 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 yeah okay translator and all right bet super power beyond god with the new transformation you will be able to have a well-balanced battle you can also become blue kaioken all right we did see that in the trailer that is pretty fire that they said that power up from the previous part fire on um, the faster attacks and defense battles are possible okay wait power up from the previous part faster i mean attacks and defense battles are possible okay here's a list of all the currently known gokus you can control interesting oh z goku mid late and super okay all right, please, this message be good about Goku. Strengthen yourself with transformation and Kaioken and fight head on. Not only that, but he's also good at tricky tactics involving instant transmission. Okay, so now we know instant transmission is in the game. That's one of his moves. I know somebody, why wouldn't it be? Kakarot didn't have instant transmission. Just go ahead and put that out there. Um, pay attention to the Kamamaha, which will get stronger through transformations. All right, which it should do that. But like I said, bro, I hope we just don't get... I, I hope our moves don't get stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. But I hope our damage, like, I, I just, I'm just really hoping for new fighting styles, bro. Like, really, like, I, I really hope the combo really do change, bro. Um, Goku Z Late. It says, Late Goku used multiple Kamamaha waves. And in Super Saiyan 3, his power techniques is completely different from the other. Okay, wait. Oh, his power techniques. So that's his move? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It says power technique is completely different from his other forms. So I think they're hinting it and they're not. Like, what do y'all think, bro? By reading these, do y'all think the combos are going to change, bro? Like, do y'all actually think that? Because I know a good game that the combo changes is Burst Limit. Burst Limit did a good job with that, bro. Um, Burst Limit, the combo change. I think the old Tenkaichi games, let me think. The old Tenkaichi games, the combo changed it. It did when you went Super Saiyan. Yeah, it did. So in the old Tenkaichi game, they did do that. And I really hope they do that in the new one. Because I remember base form Goku don't fight like Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You know what I'm saying? So I really hope that's the case, bro. I really hope they just all don't have the same fighting style like in Xenoverse. There's some delusion stuff. Because like Xenoverse, base form Goku have the same fighting style like Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You know what I'm saying? So just very delusional, very sad but that they didn't put the work and time into that so hopefully this game does that bro now going back to this screenshot right here um y'all remember the trailer the power verse speed trailer bro y'all remember that bro and right here it says the next theme is power verse speed who are the newly revealed playable characters with an s characters so what i'm thinking is like what i said in my video where they might show multiple power versus speed characters and it's just not based off of one character you know what i'm saying since it says playable characters not playable character i know that's a big deal bro you gotta look for that s bro it's a very big deal now i could be role playing but that's a very big deal you know what i'm saying so hopefully 
character that mean they will show multiple people that's coming new into the next trailer just not one person that's like delusional because a lot of people think that it's gonna show one person i read y'all comments bro very delusional but we're gonna have to see it, man we're gonna have to see it, man so please let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about this bro and what y'all think bro i think this is pretty cool man um i never had fun reading the v jump scan i guess i'm really excited about this game bro but please let me know man um let me know how y'all feel about it bro again thank y'all so much bro let me know what characters y'all gonna use and stuff would you rather what character y'all gonna use so far right now goku vegeta your range attack or your melee attack let me know in the comment section below man but again i love y'all i appreciate y'all man i'm gonna keep y'all updated on everything else y'all know the kakarot dlc is about to come out man so please make sure y'all be on the lookout for that man we is streaming that tomorrow bro so please make sure y'all be on the lookout for that man but again i love y'all i appreciate y'all and not tomorrow but i'm streaming that wait yeah, we're streaming that tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, yeah. So, yeah. So, again, love y'all. Appreciate it. And I'm out, bro. I'm out.